The sea forgets no one. It carries memories in its depths. For centuries, sailors return from the deep with tales of impossible waves, a towering surge rising from calm seas, then vanishing without a trace. For decades, science dismissed the tales as myths. But what if the stories were true? December 1978, the North Atlantic, the MS Munchen, a marvel of German engineering, strong and sleek, thought to be unsinkable. She moved calmly into the storm, unaware of what lay ahead. Then, one final message, swallowed by the storm, and after that, silence. One of the largest sea searches in history began, but there was no wreckage, no survivors. The munchen had simply vanished. Weeks later, a lifeboat was found. Its shell shattered, as if clawed by the sea itself. It had once hung 60 feet above the waves, now torn away and left to the mercy of the ocean. The steel pins that held it not snapped, bent and twisted backward, as if something had risen from the deep and struck with impossible force. A weather station would later call it the hurricane of the century. Then, on New Year's Day 1995, something remarkable was captured. At the Drapna gas platform, deep in the North Sea, a laser sensor recorded a towering wave, 84 feet high, more than twice the height of any other wave around it. It struck the platform, then vanished beneath the sea. No warning, the ocean fell silent. So how does the ocean create a monster? The answer is simpler than you might think, and more terrifying. There are two ways a rogue wave is born. The first is simple chance. Picture the surface of the sea, a field of waves moving in all directions, crisscrossing like threads. Most pass through each other without harm, but sometimes they align. One crest climbs over another, one trough digs the sea even lower. For a moment, all their energy becomes one. A wave rises, vast and unexpected, and then it's gone. But the second way is far more sinister. Some waves don't wait for chance. They feed like a predator in a herd. One wave steals energy from those around it, growing larger as the others fade. It happens where the ocean turns against itself, when a powerful current collides with a field of storm waves. The current acts like a wall forcing waves to rise fast, steep, and violent. This is where monsters are made. For the crew of the MS Munchen, it was their last day. The most accepted theory? A massive wave, born from the storm, perhaps a hundred feet high. It struck the bridge, shattered glass, flooded the systems. The ship lost power and turned broadside to the waves. We build ships of steel, we map the oceans, and we tell ourselves the sea is ours. But the sea doesn't listen. It doesn't care. It doesn't wait. It just moves. And in that endless motion, sometimes it creates something we can't predict or survive. A rogue wave leaves no trace. No warning, no second chance. Just water. And silence. <laughs>